All right, you see the keys laying on the foot locker. I think I know which key it is, but this locker, see the dust ring where I took the stuff off of it? Hasn't been open for a while. We're going to open it up and uh, see what's in it. There you have it. I'm going to try to hold this camera for you while we go through this without hitting the button and uh, making the uh, recorder shut off. So if it just goes bloop, it's because I touched the screen. I want to try to do this all in one shoot. So let's see what we got here. We got beans, many, many pounds, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Man, that's a lot of beans. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's uh, 19 bags of beans. And let's see. We got a case of peach slices that are dated. Uh, December uh, 2017 so this stuff hasn't been in here a whole great big long time here are two boxes uh, peanut butter wafers it says best by use by date on these was January 1st of 16. So I, I think those can probably go up. Let's see. Oh man, we got macaroni and cheese in here back from 14. Oh, look at here. Look at this. There's another pound of beans. Another pound of beans. Got rice. You got navy beans, rice, uh, brown, sugar, you got brown sugar, four cheese pasta, looks like it got a little wet or something somehow, oh it's sticky. Does anybody know anything about these four cheeses? These Nors? Do, do they go bad? Uh, oh, look at this. Fully cooked bacon. 100% shelf stable pre-cooked bacon from Appleton Farms. February 20th. Of 16. Huh. That's interesting. Now, since I don't have money to uh, replace these groceries, the Getty Rings, February of 17. So, see, this stuff is getting ready to go. On the 13th, or around there, I will be getting a hundred dollars worth of groceries, and I will finish restocking. There's some hamburger helper, some hot sauce, macaroni and cheese, of course, with uh, pasta rings and meatball. Uh, three nineteen of seventeen. So I will be rotating this, but this stuff is still all in date, and my kids will eat the shit out of that. 
so hey and you know the hungry jack potatoes this is all dehydrated basically pasta that's the noodles in these that I don't think they go bad they're like spaghetti they don't go bad ever but the cheese in them it's another story the powdered cheese I don't think I'd eat that there's a bunch I can see it already a bunch of chili here see if I can see the best buy 119 of 17 so that's good beef ravioli uh, so that's saying 10 13 or 16 that needs to be 8 10 13 or 16 that needs to be 8 September 2018 on the tamales that can stay One nineteen to 17 One nineteen to 17 most kangas are you already know I ain't gotta tell you are good way beyond their date way beyond their expiration date so I'm going to just do the best I can and get this closed back up and take some of this out of here and close it back up and move it or move it and then close it back up. Okay, so this locker, I've lightened it up significantly, took uh, about Three cans of chili and five cans of ravioli and three cans of spaghettios upstairs uh, that would are going to be out of date in four months. So anything with tomatoes in it, you don't really want to push it. You just want to go ahead and uh, try and use it up. I think peanut butter is the same way. Anybody knows the expiration date or anything about peanut butter and how long it lasts, uh, let me know in the comments down below. So here, now I'm going to see if I, this is light enough for me to move it. I want to set it over here on top of uh, that locker of Leonard's. See if I can get it over there. Dang, that was hard getting that over here through all these columns and stuff. That's why we're moving this. We're putting 2 by 4s up and down the wall and bracketing them in where they won't fall loose and anchor them to the concrete for extra support. Because we're going to take all these round metal poles fucking out of here. And just put a uh, one like this wooden 4x4 down the middle. And have all this extra shit out of here. After we get the 2x4s up on that wall. So we got to go through this so we can work. And know what we have. But this is what I got. I know it's kind of dark. Let me see. Yeah, let me go get a light. So ain't that better? Uh, most of the stuff in here is uh, still in date. Uh, the macaroni and cheese is out of date. And I think that's because last time I went through this locker. Uh, when I put the peaches and the stuff like that. And the tea and the brown sugar and all that in it. I don't think I was ready to throw that macaroni away. And I just stuck it in here. Because everything else is in date. So. Uh, oh, Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and get this closed up. Let's see if it closes. Alright, shine the light on there. Alright, boys. So what do we got left? We got uh, two things of Nutty Bar that are expired. i got to check and see if those are still good. And uh, three three Nors right down here which I'm getting in a can, which I'm going to go ahead and make it fit into this locker. Yeah, that'll all fit in there. Now, whenever something expires, I cannot keep it all. I've been donating it to Open Door, giving it to people I know that don't have much groceries. But, excuse me, time is getting short. Shine the light on that where they can see it, buddy. Time is getting short, so I can't just be giving my all my expired food away. Uh, like, a lot of these bottled waters are expired. But, you know, with a life straw, you can drink them anyway, so... And uh, 
I, I'm going to get rid of all these milk crates and milk cartons and shit under there with water in it. And put that back in the food pantry and get that shit out of here. And then I'm going to shift to a couple of live straws, another filtration system from Walmart. And probably about 10 or 15 cases of bottled water are going to go up under that bunk bed. And another uh, 15 or 20, whatever I can get, will go back up, up under this bunk bed. Plus, I'm going to keep all this water and all the water up there on the shelter and all the water back there in the closet. And shine the light over here. Don't turn it off. And all the water back over there. So, I mean, I would love to have uh, 30, 40 cases of water stacked in here, man. But it just takes up too much room. So, I'm going to put it under the bunk beds. So, let me get back on this. This is what we got in that foot locker. I'm going to be posting another video of this locker what? right here in a minute. But I'm going to put it on a, a separate video. So, this is Waylon and my little helper uh, telling you like subscribe thumbs up leave a comment man i mean seriously i mean uh a lot of not a lot of you but there are a couple of you that watch these videos and i need some encouragement so comment or something all right so now i gotta lock this down and get this one open and see what's in it so I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks and keep watching.